I do like the idea of measuring exactly how stressed I am. Like in my like one on ones with my manager, they're like, "How stressed are you on a scale of like zero to rakish to athletic to <laughs> to hashish addict?" And I'm like, "Hmm, good question." Hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, another weekly. Crusader Kings 3 stream. Uh, I'm Matthew, and as always, I'm joined by the wonderful Elizabeth. How are you doing today? Hello, everyone. I'm doing mostly well, apart from the struggle today. I've been just slamming my head against things, but hey, it's fine. Yeah, classic day in the life of a programmer. Something. Yeah, I broke something, and uh, I have to figure out what I broke. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very big vibe. Oh, yeah. F I've been f fixing my own poor decisions today as well. Uh, and it's been a little bit of pain. But uh, last week we left off. Uh, we are playing as the little in like Ruthenia. And we have managed to expand pretty decently. We got ourselves a little grand principality, our, our duchy of Pinsk. Um, we are constantly being attacked by the people our liege is deciding to declare war against, which is incredibly annoying. I wish he and his family would stop getting attacked so we could just live in peace. Oh my god, is that a cute little fluffy raccoon? Or not raccoon, fox. Why did I say raccoon? This, uh, this yeah. is my, uh, instead of a rubber ducky, I have a plush fox. Oh, that's like the best version of rubber duck programming. Plush fox, yes, that's even I know. better. Are we at war, by the way? I can't remember. Um, we are not war. at war, but our liege is, of course, at war with As always. someone trying to claim because yeah our liege is that child who we accidentally <laughs> we declared war against <laughs> we just beat up our liege like we, we were like oh we want this county and then his like dad died or something and he became the king and we were like wait what um but we managed to beat him and he also then decided to like make us his chancellor or something i think well yeah he made us his marshal um which marshal and we are also uh he gave us a bunch of stuff like vassals and stuff yeah exactly and we're now trying to murder him a little bit as well um 95 percent success chance so i'm kind of fine with us just sticking there because no one really likes him because he is he's a he's a kid he's also like he's sterile so they're judging him a little bit harsher how you what are know the chances we can get into that uh, get that get a claim on that title so we can uh, we can probably sure. might, might inherit it from him cuz like the inheritance tree right now is that it's going to be his sister and then the king of uh uh Galicia Volhynia um which is going to be pretty not great if he gets it but i mean we can try and get one of those like fabricate claim on liege but i don't remember where that um perk is is it intrigue or is it stewardship uh, it's meritocracy um yeah Mer uh, administrator the, oh the there we go the first one here right because yes. what we can do then is we can try and get that um we're not too far off of the next perk so we could try and give that a go and then we can try and claim it from him. That would definitely be a, a big war and a bit of a difficult move, but uh, probably worth it in the end. I Meanwhile, we're just sort of waiting out through this war. Like, we can start planning some of our next expansions, at least, um, of who we've got truces just, with. Just take over everything, I think. I'm a big fan of that oh. idea as well. Uh, all right. Me too. Time to kill a child. Because we are such <laughs> a good, wonderful person. And... He was, in fact, he was killed and no trace of foul play was found. We gained 20 stress because we did murder a kid, um, which is <laughs> a bit stressful. But I think we can we can balance that out. Ooh, that came. Okay. That's kind of expensive to go on a hunt, actually. I think that uh, we could yeah, just take... It's only, it's only level one stress. We could take the little mental break. We just get some uh, wanton <laughs> desires. We will become rakish, mm. it seems. Which is uh, uh, not ideal, but you know we can. We're not a very diplomatic person anyway, so we're not really losing much. We already have only two diplomacy. The, well, people already hate us, so uh... <laughs> yeah, might as well. Let's see. We're going, we can we... also get. Oh, well, we didn't get the sodomite. Oh, okay, we're just we're just Did regular we? levels of like. <laughs> like rakishness we're not we're not going out and exploring around the town fully which i think is a little bit of a letdown we're not we're not making the most of our rakishness 
<laughs> we can we can we can uh, we can figure like, things out. We had that we dice roll and we got the very we got the the boring option, but it's fine. We can we can we can change it up. Okay, it's only fair. You want to make me the marshal again? Yes, good. Hey, um, we can get some more bonuses. That's fine. That's I kind of want to declare war on this guy because we've got some claims on some of the land, and he is imprisoned and hasn't not got much military strength. But I'm wondering if we can maybe try and get some more claims first. Like we can have our our guy try and get some claims over here. It only takes twenty one months. Yeah. Uh, do we have any personal uh, personal uh, schemes going on right now? If 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 not, we could put out some uh, use on our bishop to get some more. Uh, Taxes and uh, manpower from our bishop. Right? Yeah, we've got. Uh, I think we had one going on our spy oh, master. Yeah, Vas spy oh, master. This guy, he's yeah. starting to like us a little bit. Just, just a tiny bit. Oh no! Why? Okay, we're being seized again. This keeps happening. It's, it's starting to get very upsetting. Our liege keeps letting us just get <laughs> sieged down. Yeah, but that's also why we should just keep on killing our liege until they stop doing letting us be sieged down you it's, know yeah they're not really uh, helping out with that def you know nice vassal contract of defending us are they like come on exactly not really doing just their job letting it happen to us but it's fine we can we can scare off the enemy troops at least with our uh, our, our soldiers keep them a little bit scared yeah uh, there we go that's good they've decided that yeah, they should leave it's not worth the effort you know which is, I mean, it's not, it's not. We, we'd, we'd mess them up, and they just need to go go away, chill out, leave us alone. More people declaring war on our liege. This time it's a peasant <laughs> revolt. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a populist uprising, even. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, the kingdom isn't too big, uh, Blam Pharaohs. It's Ruthenia. Yeah, it's not too, like, it's, it's oh, spread out actually, a little bit, it but it's like, the core of it's pretty solid. I think it's just there's a lot of claimants. To this title, yeah. who all keep just giving it a go, they're like, let's <laughs> let's just let's give it a shot, you know, like because a few of them were also know. like landed as well, for, like you know. The border gore is, oh wait, Norway. Wait, they, is Norway Nor does have a claim on it. Yeah, I think that's um. How, how far down there the line of succession is Norway? Norway, I think, is pretty far down the line. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, other people up first of the kids before it gets to Norway. But I mean, we could try and like, we could start a faction for like one of their claims at least. You could be like, I don't want to be on the Norway, honestly. Claimant faction for, for someone for like Norway. I don't know if we can do a claimant. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we we could. I mean, we could give it a shot. <laughs> that would be quite so, funny. Uh, we are not playing with Enclave Independence, we're playing with the default settings, right? Uh, I believe I so, yes. Uh, we're playing with default we ones. We didn't change anything. Yeah, I mean, we can uh, we can have a look. I think we kept them as mostly default. Uh, significant AI only. Which I think is yeah. the default one as well. Uh, but alright, we can... Yeah, our claims are coming along pretty nicely. I really, I really hope we can take as much of this little duchy as we, in one go as we can. Because right now we're kind of just vibing at home, which is not too bad. But uh, we can go visit a brothel if we get stressed again. But uh, we're pretty chilled out now. Only 35 stress. That's fine. I do like the idea of measuring exactly how stressed I am. Like, in my, like one on ones with my manager, they're like, how stressed are you on a scale of, like, zero to rakish to athletic to... <laughs> To hashish addict, and I'm like, hmm, good question. So he's got a lot of allies, which I kind of means I don't want to take him right now. But also he like, he kind of sucks still. Like we could totally beat him. Oh, I clicked the button anyway. Well, that wasn't intended. But all right, we can we can work with that. <laughs> I meant to click the close button, but I just I just no 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 no. no. We we meant to do this. Oh yes, no, hundred percent. It fully intended. Uh, Plans right there. Nothing, nothing unintended. It was all according to my incredibly genius plans that I laid down. I really hope we can just like win kind of quickly. All right, we should be able to catch him here at least. Oh, get get them before uh, their allies just pop up. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, and we can also get that uh, claim throne scheme. Which we can try against our liege whilst we're doing this. Uh, ooh, ninety percent success oh, chance. Yes, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We that's can work with that. That's really good. All right, let's go through this battle. We're we're gonna win that pretty easily. And then just a uh, a lot of sieging of the capital. 
I'm just going to go straight for that. Uh, do we have any mana siege men at arms now? I don't think so. Um, we do not, we don't have but any siege weapons. it's a pretty crappy capital at least. Ooh, who is... Uh, oh, it's just peasant rabble. No one cares. We don't, we don't care about the rabble. What keybind did you just use to insta-move the assembly point? Um, if you click on the things, you can right-click to move where the, the things are, as it says in the little tooltip there. Uh, which is what I usually do. I don't think I've ever actually clicked that button down there to move it manually. Outside of when we were implementing it, I think. Oh, okay. Siege is nearly done. Okay. Oh, we yep. captured him as well. Excellent. Wonderful. All according to plan. Exactly as you said, Elizabeth. All according yeah. to plan. It's just a monstrous border gore to go now because we split them in half, oh. but uh, separated by the river. <laughs> oh, that's that's real ugly. Compassionate discord. Moved by my tribulations, Count Ivan has offered me his counsel. Oh, how nice. What a, what a good lad. He has incurred the ire of Count Alexi, saying that he cannot be trusted. My spy master does not trust my stewards. Um, I can either make Ivan my friend, uh, my spy master my rival, no thank you. Um, no. Try and find common ground with the three of us. Which is, yeah, like a 68% like a chance of it going not awfully, and like a 30% chance of it going terribly. Uh, or I will uh, take heed of your own... I mean... Let's let's mm. try and smooth talk them. We've got barely any diplomacy, but worst case, we just lose like seventy five prestige, or like the yeah. most likely case. Uh oh, we managed to get them to like each other. Wow! Nice using our that eleven percent chance using Yay. our four diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> we are not a very diplomatic or convincing person. Who is sieging us? Oh yeah, it's the peasants. I forgot about them. Uh. That was a poor decision. You guys are going to get messed up. Ooh, we have a child of my dynasty. My my son has had a uh, daughter. Oh, no, sorry, had a son. Uh, Gavril. Wonderful. May you grow to be strong and wise. Has our uh, heir had any kids yet? I feel like he's not. No, he's getting, he's so. getting on a bit as well. Like, come on, dude. You, marry, you had Ouch. no kids with your first <laughs> wife. That had all the nice claims. Damn, dude. You just, like, uh, infertile or something? Uh, that is unfortunate. He's... Uh, I mean, he should have, like, pretty regular fertility, but he's clearly not managing to get it to work. So, thanks, dude. You're really helping out the dynasty. Like, do your bit for the dynasty, man. Come on. High Chieftain uh, Povils. What? Wait, we can oh, siege we, some stuff? Oh, it's just this little, this tiny thing. Yeah, it's uh, just a little bit of our uh, de jure. 135 or 45. Um, I mean, we could probably do it. He's not really got uh, any it's... allies. Oh, no, he's got a lot of allies. I take that way back. I yeah, thought that said 700, like, not 7,000. Well, what are you looking at here? I'm going to press like... the right button this time instead of declare war on that one. Because <laughs> that, that would go not great for us. So Ruthenia is now split. It, that's, that's like actually two pretty big ones. Um, I mean, we could try we could try and depose him and then, then claim against her as well. <laughs> I don't really uh... know what we should... Uh, or we could just, I mean, like, sit it out and let them beat each other up. I mean, for this one, she has no army. Like, she has no legs to stand on. She's not got an army, but her allies got a little bit of army. At least he's got uh... 1,300 troops, and the top legion only has 1,900. So, I mean, we could probably just sit it out and be like, I don't really care. Yeah, let's just let's just wait it out. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll say no, and we'll just chill whilst they... They waste each other's men at arms and levies. I mean, we worst can case, worst case, nothing happens, and we can claim the title, our title, and that. Um, and that, well, worst case, the kingdom splits, and our liege is weaker when we claim the title. Uh, best case, uh, the liege is still weak because recent war, and we can take all of it. Yeah. It's yeah, fine. that sounds pretty right. Uh, what should we get for a perk? Do you reckon we can get defensive measures, cutting cornerstones, 
loyal chains of loyalty or larger levies? Mm. Mm, I think cutting cornerstones because we're right now just building a lot of uh, just infrastructure and building up our realm. That's a good idea. Let's do that then. All right, let's uh, see whilst they try and fight this out pathetically. It's not exactly the most uh, like a likely scenario, but I, if we can get this claim, I'm gonna be really annoyed if we get to like two like days off of this claim going through on the scheme, and then he gets deposed again. It would be like, come on, man, uh, that's just you're just being mean now. Uh, let's see if we can get Igor to join our scheme. Do we need even Igor? Uh, not for 55 gold, we don't. Um, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, if it's like 10 gold, maybe. 55, nah. I like our odds at 80 and 80. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, we could recruit you as a physician. You have 13 learning. Uh, yeah, sure. You can be our uh, new physician. Beautiful. Ooh, a learned peasant. Ooh. That's a lot of stewardship. That's a ton of stewardship. Yeah, he wants to have some control of someone. We can either say, come join me, uh, pay me money, and I'll let you uh, have some control over this county, uh, which is one of the ones that has a lot of control and is kind of fine with us already. Um, or we can say, this land is mine. Um... um. What do you think? There's I mean, not I much. Think it's like should... it's max control already, and he's he's a pretty good steward, though. But we already have one who's think... a counselor. Yeah, but I'm thinking that if we could, uh, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm worst case, I mean, you just get, take the gold, and then we can just build another building. Like the control will go up pretty quickly with our yeah. marshal there, at least. Sure. Let's uh, let's uh, get some money and let him do his thing. Give me the money. I need it. All right, more people joining our scheme. We will claim this throne, I swear to God. If it's the last thing I do, I'm not letting our liege get away with this. Oh no, did our, our wife died. Well, that's such a brutal uh, goodbye message. I might not have loved you, yet I feel bad about you dying. That's that's pretty <laughs> savage. You're getting five stress. <laughs> All right, guess it's time to find a new wife. Uh, ooh, this one's got a claim on a bunch of stuff, at least. Mm. Uh, which yeah. it's a neighbor as well for an ally. That's pretty right. And she's I'm only she's thirty that. as well. She can have a kid or something. Yeah. Yep. Welcome home, honey. I hope you give us kids and claims. <laughs> the nicest, yeah. You know, isn't that what you want to hear when you're, uh, uh, like you get, you get married? Like, hey, give me your claims. <laughs> let's, uh, no, 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 no. Let's make this part, this, uh, this here. Let's make our family the most powerful in Europe. That would be quite nice. I would be a big fan if we can spread the dynasty out far and wide. Like, it's, it's, uh, we're going decently all right. Like, we've only got five living members because our first son just didn't have any damn kids. And we've not had any kids for ages either. Um, which is not great. This guy's definitely going to die without kids at this point. I'm, I'm certain of it. Um, she's not great. She seduces, seduces his wife just so he gets an heir. I mean, uh, that's a legit thing. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> uh, you just you imagine your, your dad coming to you one day and like, I'm sorry, son, I need to cut you for the good of the realm. Ooh, sacred looting. My knight approaches me, my lord. After your sound decision to leave war finding up, up to your discretion, we've conducted a, f oh, a fruitful no. pillaging of Ruthenia has ever seen. Russell, dozens of sheep pilfered hundreds of trinkets and even burnt down a church with a thousand people alive <laughs> inside. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> Burrah. Uh, we can say <laughs> our coffers did not did need this windfall. We we spend so much uh, piety. Wait, what what what's that? Uh, what what's the uh, the bonus we get from the bottom one? Uh, the bottom one, one. Good work. We shall the continue house doing. The worship burner. Oh, what does that do? I don't know. I'm trying to get that tooltip, but I'm failing. Uh, house of worship burner. 
negative piety per month for five years, and we spend <laughs> 500 piety. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I mean, we could, I mean, that's just basically <laughs> us taking the hit of being like, we will never be pious ever again. Um, oh, my God. I... I, I, you know, what do you think we should go for? We have no we piety. We are not pious at all. Let's all right, go. Let's go. No piety. We are just an <laughs> abject sinner at this point. Jesus, <laughs> that is a lot. It's fine though. Let's uh, we can we can take out these guys in the war and hopefully we're prestigious. We're we're very not pious though. That's uh, that's our our lot right now. We can go and disband our troops over here though. We managed to kill them off. We can ransom some of them first. We aren't the sin. We aren't a sinner yet. We just had negative piety. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We we lost piety. We didn't lose our accumulated stuff, but uh, we have definitely lost all amount of piety that we could spend. <laughs> Me, a sinner? I will have you know that I'm not. I am protected by all these trinkets. Very. Ah, uh, you're you're protected. I've just got a like a horse T-shirt. I've not got anything. Uh, though ironically, we're still gaining piety uh, every month, even with that reduction, just because we have pretty okay learning, and like our our counselor is currently doing the religious relations task um, instead of any claims or anything. <laughs> so we're doing all right. Um, <laughs> so our ill omens, our ambition to rule Ruthenia. Ravens have been gathering, and a few nights ago, even the wait. Are we looking at the sky for mystical? prophecies i mean we can i mean we've we, we might as well spend <laughs> more piety committed. we have committed we're committed to having no piety at this point might as well let's go <laughs> let's go it, you know what once you, once you start you might as well keep going you know oh my god okay word of our, our ambitions to take control have started to spread among the knights of the realm discontent rises and they believe it's a time for change uh, as tension sees, I am approached by none other than Kozma, one of King Oleg's knights, saying our warriors deserve better than this. Promise better treatment and a generous purse of gold, and you will have my sword. Ooh. We can force him to join our claim, um, and we gain an extra 20%. So, I mean, we're already at 90-90s, so I'm not sure we need to spend all of our money on prestige on this guy. We don't. And, well, a knight, like, yeah, we we don't need treacherous knights in our court that is Go very away. true we don't want people that's gonna establish this type of thing and are we are now we are illustri the only ones who stabbing we exactly. are the only ones who do stabbing we we do the backstabbing here we don't want our knights doing it uh, exactly uh oh wait oh my gosh uh he actually had a kid of 44 my man <laughs> jesus that's uh, uh go for it i guess my son and heir have lately been telling me how impressed they are with the generosity of my wife. Oh, wonderful. What a what a great wife we married. Not as good as the first one, but oh well. Pious people get people burned in church. Yes. Exactly. Just like, you know, just don't go hanging out in a church like, when there's pious, looters unpious, nearby. Pious, pious, unpious people get burned either way. Exactly. And our liege is probably going to win this tyranny war as well. Which is good, because that means we can then declare war against him and lose of his troops will have been wasted. Um, ooh, more. Earned authority. I'm not driven by Mim lust for her because I'm the only one that can bear the responsibilities. He grants me increasingly important tasks because he knows that he knows that we should be the ruler. Can gain stressed out but increase responsibility, or we can say, nah, my... <laughs> I mean, I like when, uh, mm, eh. we have such good success chance anyway. Like, I think we could take this one just in case we like get off the council yeah, or do something. It. Do it. Because we can, we can just go, go to a brothel to chill out. You know. Perfect. We lose a lot of stress. Nothing bad happens. Good. And we got. Never pots. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad happens. Never mind. The fire of love, the burning sensation in my groin was growing so unbearable I had to flee to my chambers. I could finally scratch myself and find relief. There was no relief. My fingers found blisters and tore them open. That's nasty. You nasty, nasty man. <laughs> oh dear.
We're afflicted by a very painful venereal disease. Well, oh well. <laughs> Guess that's how it goes sometimes. Oh well, it's uh, it's not ideal, but we are we do have the, the nasties. <laughs> we should invest some of our money. We have so much money. Yeah, I think can we build some more stuff here? We can either go for one final building slot we can go for, or try and upgrade some of the things that we want. Or we could try and go for a bigger duchy building. Could go I, for... I like duchy buildings. All right, let's go through what we got. We got military academies, which is uh, gold and knights effectiveness. Marches are mainly good for like protecting this place. Siege works, uh, royal armories, jousting grounds, blacksmiths, archery, tax office, or a leisure palace. Um, mm. what do you think? I do like the blacksmith. I was thinking the More same thing. More heavy infantry stuff, and men at arms are cheaper. Yeah. Like, that's going to be pretty... Chat does have a good point. Leisure Palace sounds impious, but nothing that about this gives us any piety. It's just, it's just you know, it's a lavish uh, location. It's not necessarily uh, anything that we're super Although interested I do in. Like the, uh, I do like the hostile and personal schemes chance it gives. Yeah, the low 5% increase is good, and the holdings have better control growth. Um... Like, I think we could go for either. Like, we've got a pretty good scheme resistance right now, I think, but we could always get better. And this is going to last a while, so I guess it depends. If we're about to also, if we want to invest in more men at arms, this might be better because we do have a lot of money. We could actually get some of those spearmen. Let's get the blacksmiths. All right, I will. Because we can always just get another duchy and get another building. That is very true. So I will do that and I will actually get those pikemen that we uh, wanted. After I just check, how is our scheme going? Mm. Not too bad. All right, we've got, I'll see if there's any things that reduce building cost here first before we get it. Professional workforce, building construction time. Nice. I always like it when we can build things quicker. Now we can get our pikemen. Beautiful. Yeah, things are looking pretty all right in the realm. Although we need to marry off, marry off our dishonorable fool of a granddaughter. <laughs> Um, she is, I mean, let's, all right, let's go, like, maximum age difference. Let's see if we can get, like, max, like, a 10-year age difference, because some of these people are hell old. Like, they were, like, marrying, like, a 61-year-old to our 16-year-old yeah. granddaughter is a little, little dodgy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so, okay, let's go, like, maximum 15-year age gap. Um... Nobody that jumps out is like getting us a super good alliance or anything, to be honest. We could just marry her off for uh, traits or something, or we could just hold off, I guess. What do you think? Uh, we could get some traits, I guess. All right, let's have a look. Uh, traits, traits, traits. Inheritable traits. Any good traits in this dynasty? I mean, if we get matrilineal as well, that'd be. Oh, we we can. Uh, we can get. We want to have matrilineal, so yeah. Hail. Or Comely, and we'll get a claim on this random county if we go for this guy. A county a that we will Hon. never go and invade from the looks of it. <laughs> bon Hon. Nice. Um, I mean, I am a fan of both Beauty and, uh, and Hale. I like both of them, but I'm not sure which I like the most. So I'm going to yeah. let you... Yeah. Make right. a decision of those two. Uh, I will go... Actually, for... Beauty does give... Uh, Mm. Like, let's hmm. see. Let's see which character looks nicer. Uh, this guy, what's his traits? He is a fickle, brave, vengeful man. That's okay. A couple of red flags. This one, he's a just temperate, greedy man. He sounds a bit nicer, this one. Yeah. He's a, he's a little more chill. I'm gonna, I think we should go. There was also the Herculean one that was uh, treat, pointed out, but. Treat our wife uh, he's well. A, the un, un, the uh, the Herculean one is unlanded. Yeah, you want to get one like let's get a nice dice. Don't don't want to cost too much prestige from her, because those like the 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 crappier the spouse, the worse they are. Oh, okay. My wife has made a sensual proposal. She's made my, her way into my life with sweet words and sweeter touches. Late at night, I struggle to keep her off my mind. The feeling that's between us will soon either burst into flames or die out. 
Um, we can say, I want to dwell forever in this inferno, and our wife may become our lover. Or we can say that this is a romance that will burn bright but sore, or we can just go, <laughs> lol, no. <laughs> I mean, it's our wife, we might as well. Yeah, let's let's do it. There we go. I return to the chambers. I am greeted by an unexpected but appreciated sight. Our bed has been decorated with roses, and she is reclining on it, smiling eagerly. Nice. And hopefully now she will make sure to never try and plot to kill us or anything. Although also, she did seduce us whilst knowing that we had pox. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> she, she, she's finding all these blisters. She's like, how did this happen? Like, oh, I, I wonder, could it be us by any chance?